Oh yes, you lot, UFC 229, strap yourselves in, let's have a bit of fun. The event sold an absolutely shitting crazy 2.4 million pay-per-view buys. But we're not here to talk about money on this channel, we don't give a fuck, mainly because I ain't fucking got any. But anyway, the card started off with a couple of spicy head kicks, my personal favourite being Nick Lentz against Grey Maynard, he sent him to fucking sleep. After their fight on the prelims, I do think that Alan Patrick is still having nightmares about Holtzman's fucking elbows. Aspen Lab would then beat Tony Revenger by first round TKO. She'll be alright though, she got to kiss Laura Sanko. Fucking lucky bastard, by the way. Vicente Luque then took his absolutely naughty chin into a fight with Jalen Turner, and he beat him in the first round by an absolute fucking massacre. It was so bad that Turner thought, fuck this, I'm going back down to lightweight. The prelims then finished off with an absolute bang when Juicy F4 Mega fought Sergio Pettis. Uh, actually, it was a bit shit, so. It wasn't that much of a bang. Then the main card was opened up by Michelle Waterson and Felice Herring. It was at that point that I realised that whenever Connor headlines a UFC event, the rest of the card is fairly toilet. Big up the karate hearty for getting the UD win though after she was robbed fucking blind last weekend. Then we moved on to everyone's favourite comedian by day and scary fucking knockout artist by night, Derek Lewis. And even though he was getting thoroughly beaten the fuck out of for two and a half rounds, he found the kill shot and sent Volkov straight to good fucking Knightsville. Have a title shot, Derek, mate. Go on. Then the nutty OSP had the absolute fucking piss beaten out of him by Dominic Reyes over three rounds. Great performance from the Dominator. Then we got to everyone's favourite, pole kicking, baseball playing, fucking nutcase Tony Ferguson against Showtime Pettis. As with every Tony Ferguson fight, it was an absolute bloody battle that he would win on the scorecards, but respect to both blokes, that was an absolute war and deserved the fight of the night bonus. Tony would then go on to fight for the lightweight title. No, he didn't. He never did actually, which is fucking sad. But anyway, what a legend he is. Hope he keeps fine. Then on to the main event for the lightweight title where champion Habib Namagamedov welcomed Conor McGregor back to the UFC. They were best mates in the build-up and had absolutely zero problems with each other on a personal level. <laughs> The Eagle would submit the mouthy Irish fella in the fourth round and that was the end of their rivalry. They were best mates after the fight and were even seen eating a fucking pizza together. Oh, and no, now Khabib no, jumps no, the no, fence! No, 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 Whoa, no, 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 and he's going right at Dylan Dennis! Mayhem! Actually, no, they still fucking hate each other's guts, if I'm honest. All because Khabib called this helmet a fucking chicken.